Yo, what's up everyone? Shooting this intro real quick before I hit the hay. It's like 10, 15 at night. We're flying out to Junk Con in the morning. I got a flight in Tampa at 7.15 and I'm about 45 minutes from there, but I'm going to Carlos's house to park the truck there and then we're both just gonna Uber because me and him are going together. Yeah, that's pretty much gonna be the whole video is just this whole junk on trip. I'm gonna try to record a bunch, make a whole vlog out of it, let you guys know how it goes and everything. Maybe get some footage of Raleigh, North Carolina, because I've never been there. I've heard it's a pretty cool place. But the main reason why I'm shooting this intro right now is because I know I'm gonna be running off like four hours of sleep when I get up and I'm not gonna wanna be doing much talking. So I guess I'll just see you guys in the morning. Oh, holy crap. It's time to roll. <laughs> Tampa Airport, an hour and a half early. Life hack, don't pay for rental cars, especially when you're under the age of 25. They slap on like a hundred dollar fee. So we got a truck. Hacks. Not a bad room. Enjoying the view over there. <laughs> It'll do. First time trying chicken and waffles. Out here enjoying the first day because we got here a day early just so we could explore North Carolina. It's gonna be the whole first day. All right, we just got up. First day of junk con. Um, yesterday we really just went golfing and then. Uh, I guess we're just gonna go to Ray Lee tonight because we really didn't do that much touristy stuff. But got the biz shirt on. It is 7.15, we're gonna go grab breakfast, and then head to Junk Con. See y'all there. And there we go, hotel break brekkie. I think this was the, the rainy state, but Check-in, we're official. All right, trying to uh, Jojo, Matt, and Vic back there. Set what up to them. Let's get a first perspective of what's going on in here. Wow, this is legit. No way. Look at the setup. the reason why we are all here today, what made Junk Con, what it is today. Give it up for Mr. Lee God. Is I try to put myself in situations that I was a little uncomfortable. And we go here are very green. There's a lot of people here. Wow, look at this rig. The booth is sick. Oh, yeah. Come on now. Look at these trucks, come on. What are we doing now? We gotta go into SEO group. We did listen to Casey from Stand Up so far, Firehouse, Junk Guy, Lee talk for a little bit, and now I think we're gonna go and do an SEO. A few other things, still the first day. Uh, I think we're here for like eight hours or something, so we're getting a lot, I'm taking a lot of notes. Pretty cool. A lot of you guys have walked up to me and said what up, and I'm sure I'm gonna talk to a lot more people. It's just definitely a different experience for me. I never really run into people that I know from my YouTube channel, and now I've ran into like 10 people already and say they love my videos and stuff, so that's sick. But yeah, I'm gonna check out SEO, and if anything else interesting happens today, I'll try to get that on camera and talk about it. Keep it rolling.
So I did that for a while, and I was cutting her out of videos. <laughs> First day complete. Gonna go get some food, possibly a brewski, and then back in the morning. Woo! Time to do some exploring. One ultra. Yeah, I'm gonna have one ultra. Um, day one, pretty informative. I think we both agree that the best part was meeting new people, networking, networking. I met Sonoma Strong, Matt Vic and Jojo Correct. and Junk so. Guys. Bunch of people and then bunch of you guys walked with me, set it up, which was super cool. And I took a boatload of notes, learned some things, heard a lot of stuff that I've already heard, but like we were saying earlier, lit the fire, definitely motivated. I'm gonna get back there. Tomorrow, take some more notes. Then we are back on a plane to Tampa and gonna try to put some of this stuff in action but tomorrow i'm gonna try to get some more footage see what else we can get on camera then wrap things up back up get on the plane and head back down south day two some mediocre breakfast waffles oh chicken and waffles uh slurp down this coffee then off the junk on new truck no. I don't know about this. What do you think, Ty? I don't know how I feel about the steering wheel. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Thoughts? I don't know. I wish the steering wheel would go more in my lap. Maybe this goes forward. Alright. I could probably ride with it. I want to honk the horn. <laughs> 7 out of 10. Alright, they just went over. Uh, Google Ads, got some notes, we're locked in. Um, they didn't go over a ton, but the Google Ads guy is here, and he said, you can come over, ask questions and stuff, I'm about to go over there, get the secret sauce, and hopefully bring that home tonight, clock it into my ads, and do pretty good, so, let's go. Hey man, I'm a YouTuber here, I'm gonna post oh, here, do so it. say hi to the channel. Hey channel, <laughs> we're here together. You're not here, you should be here. All right, we're back at U-Haul. Just left Junk Con like an hour ago. We went and did some driving at the golf range. So we had to burn some time, but honestly burned a little too much time. It's 5.50 now. Our flight leaves at seven and we're waiting on an Uber to get to the airport, which is like 15 minutes from here. I'm really hoping TSA doesn't take longer than an hour because we will literally be screwed. If you guys are wondering, I'll talk more about Junk Con and stuff at the end of this video because I know I just put in little clips here and there of Junk Con. And then to go really in a, a lot of detail what was going on because I really don't know the rules like if I'm allowed to record certain stuff or not. So I was really just walking around and getting snippets here and there. But yeah, uh, off to the airport, catch a flight, or we're stuck in North Carolina for the night. Yo, what's up? Welcome to the end of the vlog slash video. I'm just gonna go over Junk Con real quick and a few of the things that I think they could have done differently and then um some of the positives obviously the pros are gonna way outweigh the negatives here there's just a few things that were like kind of annoying to me and one of them was uh my turkey sandwich being eight dollars that was annoying i feel like you i feel like jra or you guys if you're watching jra could have got some sort of like food hookup maybe cater chipotle or cater chick-fil-a i know there was only like 450 people there so it would have been expensive but i added up ticket sales and i think even if everyone paid like the discounted rate for the ticket sales they had like over a hundred thousand dollars in ticket sales so i'm sure there was maybe five thousand dollars to throw around there for at least a complimentary meal one day so that was just one thing that i would have done differently if i was hosting the event is at least brought like the concession stand prices somehow, at least if you have to pay off the concession people a little bit to down to like a reasonable cost. So that was one thing. And the other thing was the breakout groups. I didn't really like how they were hosted. The breakout groups were like these categories and, but they were all were, like one category would be in room 201 at 3.30 to learn how to market better. And then in room 203 at 3.30, you, it was talking about how to find better help and retain good employees. And then room 205 at 3.30, it was another category but they were all hosted at the same exact time. I wanted to be at both of them at the same time, but obviously I'm one human being and they're they're held at the same time, so I couldn't. And I just had to pick one, whichever one I thought was more valuable to me. So that was another thing that I would have probably done differently. But those are my only two complaints. They really weren't that big of inconveniences. I just thought, since, you know, I'm always 100% honest in these videos that 
I thought I'd share them. Now for positives, some things that I thought were super cool um, that they went over Google marketing and I didn't even think they were gonna do that. I mean, I did, it probably said it somewhere on the junk removal or junk con website, but them going over the Google ads was super helpful. And even after the Google ads guy went over his um, presentation, he said, he'll be over at the junk removal authority booth and anyone can come talk to him. So you know my happy ass went over there with a bunch of questions that I already had written down for my personal ads that I want to change or just wanted the better advice on. So talking to him after he went over his presentation, that was already very helpful. And then me going ask my personal questions was even more helpful. So that was super cool. And then listening to uh, stand up guys, 1-800-JUNK, Fire Dogs, Junk Removal, go over how they run their businesses, how they do their marketing, like where they started and everything was just awesome. And then my favorite part, I think, was meeting you guys and meeting so many people that watch my videos so many people coming up to me shaking my hand saying they appreciate my videos i'd help them start their business or i helped them start their business and a lot of you saying like how long you've been watching me you've been watching since i got like had the harbor freight trailer and i was just i was mind blown honestly i thought maybe like five or six people would walk up to me and recognize me especially because i'm standing in my in front of my own logo there for my youtube channel but it was like a lot more than that. I wasn't counting, obviously, but like there was a lot of people that came up to me and I was not expecting that. So that was super cool. Could appre was definitely appreciate how uh, whoever set that up for me, I'm assuming it's Lee Godbold and Shane and Matt Mary, because those are the only three I ever talked to and they were asking me. I know Matt, I emailed him over my logo and then Shane just hook up, hooked up a few other things. And uh, Lee's obviously, like the, I think, the main person that runs the event. Shout out to them. If any of you are watching, shout out to you guys. That was super cool. And uh, that was the first time anyone's at eh anyone's ever done that for me. And I didn't think it would ever come this soon. I mean, I'm not even at 6,000 subscribers yet. I checked today and it's like 50, 58, 50 or something. I don't know, crazy. I just really didn't think that many people there would know me. So that was awesome. Just talking to other junk removal business owners that didn't even know me, like just talk, just walking around, meeting people saying, hey, my name's Ty. And then talking to them, asking like how they do their pricing on their trailer compared to their dump fees, uh, how their dumpster rental business is going. Cause that was definitely, Something I was asking a lot of people, if you guys watch my videos, you know that I don't really get my feet too wet in dumpster rentals yet because I just don't have an extra can laying around. But just talking to people and asking them how they do it in their own business and what the prices are on like a 10 cubic yard dumpster was very helpful. And besides just the dumpster rental, like up just asking people about their, their own business and how they built their website, how much they cost to build their website, just tons of questions. Anything that I could think off the top of my head when I was talking to someone that's doing better than me because believe me, like a lot, probably over 60% of the people there were doing better than me. Like there's people there talking about how they just average a thousand dollars a day. Like it's nothing. And they are trying to work towards 2000. Like me, myself, I know I'd probably say I, I would be happy if I was making a thousand dollars a day, but I told myself a year ago, I'd be happy if I was making $500 a day and I make $500 a day all the time. And I'm like, Oh, I wish I could make a thousand dollars a day. So it's, it's all over the place, but final thoughts on the event. It was super cool. It was definitely worth it, especially cause I split expenses with Carlos, like our hotel rental car, all that jazz. Um, he actually covered my flight because he had enough points on his credit card to get two, two free tickets. So shout out to Carlos. Um, he's a homie for that. He didn't have to do that. But I really only spent like around $700 probably. But I don't want to ramble on forever. I know this video is already super long. Like I said, event was sick. Super positive. I learned a lot. I have so many notes. Um, brought back a lot of stuff that I'm going to start implementing in my business that I wasn't implementing before. Hopefully that just makes me able to boost this thing up to the moon. Because we need to get into that Azuzu one day. We need to get the dump trailers, the hydraulic dump trailers rolling all around Pinellas County. But yeah, that's all I got for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe. It helps these videos out a lot. And if you have a question or you just want to leave a comment to uh, help boost this video and it do better in the algorithm, drop it below. I'll try to answer your questions. Appreciate it. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. So I'll see you guys next video. Peace.